Additive manufacturing, also known as 3D printing, is a unique technology that combines both creating materials and a shape all at the same time inside the same machine. What that does for us is it enables us to create and fabricate very complex design at very little additional cost if you compare to other conventional manufacturing technologies. In all of my years of manufacturing, we've traditionally used conventional methodologies to make things. Additive manufacturing is akin to in the late 1800s when people were riding around on horses and somebody showed up with an automobile. It changed dramatically uh, what, what transpired for all of mankind. Additive manufacturing is that much of a, a game changer for technology. It allows us to consolidate the number of parts. It allows us to meet weight restrictions, cost restrictions. It allows us to meet design requirements that could be built in no other way than using additive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing goes back a decade for the company. And so there's multiple different examples I can think of where additive helped multiple aircraft programs. One in particular uh, is there to me is the first metal titanium component for an aircraft. This happened about four to five years ago. And the program at that time had a problem of combining four different components, forming it using some fixtures and tooling, then welding it together uh, which led to a very high cost of the part. So when we brought additive together, we started thinking about a different way of designing it, which allowed us to combine all the components into one piece, not having any kind of tooling of fixtures, which in the end resulted to a much cheaper part. Very proud of that moment because it really uh, was the starting point of building the ecosystem for the metal additive at the company. The ecosystem encompasses all of the things that make these processes um, repeatable and reproducible. So when we're thinking about raw materials, we're thinking about subject matter expertise, uh, processes, data collection, understanding that, that digital path or that digital thread through the build, the design and the build, the data collection, um, all of those things are encompassed in our ecosystem, which make it possible for us to not just make a part once, but to make it the first time and then to make it repeatable uh, each successive time. Um, this has allowed us to really get at the heart of making better aircraft faster, more cost effective, and being able to deliver things to our customers that we could not deliver in the past. For a long time, additive manufacturing was seen as that really cool kind of hobby thing in the future. It's real. It's here today. We have over 240 parts on our latest platform. Part of the bill of material in production today. And I think we are just now starting to learn the fast, really fundamental change that AM can bring to our entire operation from design through iterative prototyping to production. It eliminates the need of, of so much tooling, which is lengthy and expensive. Our traditional way of building parts like this comes with a lot of expensive, heavy tooling that takes quite some time to develop. Then you build your part, then you discover you need to make a change and you start all over. Whereas with added manufacturing, you can go very quickly. The other advantage, particularly from a cost perspective, we're a very high mix, low volume operation. We can get into limited initial production very quickly. And we can iterate from that if we need to go to a higher volume with our supplier partners and that transition goes so much more smoother with an added manufacturing commodity. Several years ago when we built out the Center of Excellence, it was a major draw for several organizations within uh, General Atomics. We started to have engineers come and visit and other subject matter experts that would help us to promote this, uh, this new technology within our company and allow us to use it on different aircraft platforms. The engineers were interested in coming over to see the different technologies and the applications. It allowed us to 
to bring designers in and allow them to see the possibilities and the potential of this new technology. It's very exciting to see that it's really the tip of the iceberg for the company in terms of additive manufacturing. There's a lot more work to do and this is why we're here and this is why we're excited to do this. It really excites me to see where the application space is going to grow in the future. In terms of the future of additive manufacturing, the development of different types of materials, different equipment, uh, different build processes, uh, it's, it's happening so quickly and the application of those different technologies within our realm, within aircraft, is just so exciting. The, the ability to apply these different technologies, these new technologies, to different problems that we've encountered and bringing uh, real-time solutions to engineering problems is just incredible. Added manufacturing, in my view, is fundamentally changing our entire approach to how to design, build, and feel unmanned aerial systems. And we are just now beginning to understand what that future can really look like with additive manufacturing.